A 15-year-old Tucson girl is back home tonight after getting bit by a rattlesnake. A very scary experience for her and her family as she spent the last few days in the hospital. And I took like my flashlight and I looked at my ankle and I saw the two marks and I knew it was a snake. That's what Anjali's ankle looked like today after the snake struck Monday night near her home on the northwest side. Now your signs Whitney Clark met with her today. Whitney, how is she doing now? Well, guys, Stella, for just getting bit by a rattlesnake a couple days ago, Anjali seems to be doing very well. She even had some friends over tonight when I met her. She says she still has some pain in her ankle and needs crutches to walk, but shouldn't have any permanent damage. Anjali says she doesn't remember some of the details of what happened, but's happy to be home. Anjali never caught a glimpse of what bit her, but it sure left its mark. I was like, really freaked out. That was just really like scary thing to think of and I was actually really thankful that I didn't see the snake because I think that would have like not helped. The ninth grader is recovering after getting bit by a rattlesnake. Those two purple dots fang marked down the road from her house. I felt something on my ankle like I I forget it happened fast. I don't know if it was a sting or like but I felt something and I took like my flashlight and I looked at my ankle and I saw the two marks and I knew it was a snake. Luckily, she called her parents and they called 911. Anjali says she was in shock. In the ambulance on the way, I was actually okay. But then at the hospital, it started to hurt more and it just was so much was happening. While it was scary, Anjali says the doctors at Banner University Medical Center made her feel comfortable. Northwest Fire says this is the first snake bite crews have responded to this year. Captain Adam Goldberg says on average, they get about six. Just be mindful. Keep your eyes open. Remember, there are a lot of snakes out there that we don't see, and so don't come across it by accident. Fire crews say they never found the snake that bit Anjali. Meanwhile, she'll be keeping her eyes and ears open. I didn't hear the rattles. I had earbuds in and don't wear sandals out in the desert. While rattlesnake bites can be deadly, paramedics say that it is very rare they are fatal. Young people and older people and those with other health, health problems are more, more vulnerable. Fire crews say snake calls always go up this time of year, so be mindful. Anjali has to get more blood work done in the next few days and we'll see a physical therapist, but should be okay. In the newsroom, Whitney Clark, KGA 9 on your side. Whitney, 